Hello folks, FJ Caron here. If you're interested in collecting military surplus weapons, whether you're a collector, a shooter, or into gunsmithing, why don't you head on over to Marshall Zukov's channel and check him out. He has a lot of interesting videos related to these topics. Gunsmithing, cleaning techniques, how-tos, historical overviews, and some shooting videos as well. And if you want to see more on this topic, go ahead and check out my channel as well. Hello, oh, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. It's about... that time, 80 degrees out here, which is like... awesome, I guess. At least it's nice for motorcycle riding. But I've got... a couple different, uh, three different Mausers here might be able to see and I can't see hardly anything on this screen because it's so bright but uh, first one here is a K98 Mauser German BYF 42 and next to it is uh, I think the designation is an M38 it's a Turk Mauser and then uh, the latest acquisition the Chinese Mauser so we'll see how they shoot here I got my target set up out there, maybe 60 yards away. So what I've got is the uh, PPU stamped ammo. I'm not sure if it's the uh, Privy Partisan or what exactly. It's got kind of mixed up with some of my other Yugo 8mm Mauser stuff, so we'll give it a shot out of the Chinese Mauser. Okay, I switched some ammo. That other stuff I think was shooting high. This is some uh, 1254 head stamped uh, Hugo. K98. Love it when a plan comes together. This K98 is on autopilot. It'll shoot itself. Okay, the Turk Mauser. This is the same PPU stamped, uh, head stamped, 1983 with the purple ring around the primer, the purple paint, whatever it is.
Okay, the uh, PPU head stamped stuff shoots quite high out of the uh, Turk Mauser. I have some Turk 8mm Mauser that's head stamped uh, the caliber 7.9 FS. It's got 1944 as a date and it's got three letters. It's either T O C or T U C or some kind of a Turk character on it. So we'll see how, uh, how this. Well, as we can see, we got quite a few good hits in here on the old uh, gong. Molested it pretty good. This hole was the only hole that was in it when I made it, except for that one right there. And uh, yeah, she's been shot up pretty good. All these, well, most of these holes right there on that leg are from today, but uh, a lot of solid hits there on the on the steel. Got that K98 with 10 in a row. That was awesome. But might have to cut her short today. I shot the damn leg off, so now I got to find it. That's a shame. I did want to shoot the old Browning today.